Hello, Ross developers. Today, we are going to see how to launch several drones on a single simulation. This is a question that we have received here in this video that we published some uh, months ago about how to start programming drones using ROS. And we got this question about this user that says, can you launch two drones at the same time? That's quite an interesting question and because it allows us to do many, many fancy things with ROS and drones. Well, the thing, the, the, the short answer is that it depends on your simulation. So your drone model has to be prepared, has to be ready in order to be able to launch uh, several of those models in a single simulation. So that is not the case for the R drone simulation that we have here. And it, that's why in this video, we are going to use the Hector Quadrator simulation. You can download the, that Hector Quadrator simulation here in our public simulation repo. I'm going to put the link beneath the video. And uh, this, is a, this is just a fork that we have done from the original one. And we have just uh, done some small modifications so that the simulation works properly with Gazebo 7 and ROS Indigo. So you can come here to our public simulations and download it. Go to the original Hector Quadrator simulation uh, repo also and try to make it work. But in any case, in this video, we are going to use, as always, the ROS Developers Stu Development Studio. The ROS Development Studio here that you can access at RDS dot the .com. you can go there and create a free account and then do everything that you have here uh, that we are going to do in this video so the ROS development studio basically it's a ROS environment already created for you on the cloud so you don't have to install anything in your computer you can use windows to do all the, your ROS programming testing simulations etc so that's what we are going to use here today. And you can follow us uh, the same steps by creating a free account in the ROS Development Studio. OK, so let's go. First thing, let's create a new project. OK, create a new project. Let's call uh, two drones. For example, description, uh, launching two drones on a gazebo simulation. Okay, so we have created, here it is, and now let's open it. Open the project. And uh, once we are here, so what do we have to do first? We have to um, uh, see what is about this actor simulation. So the thing that we are going to do is to uh, launch a single quadrator, just so you can see how it works. For this, let's go to simulations and launch an empty simulation. We are going to use this empty simulation to spawn quadrators, actor quadrator robots. Okay, so here is the empty simulation. And how do we spawn a, a quadrator in that empty simulation? Okay, there is an already provided um, command for this. So let's open a shell and let's use that command to launch the quadrature in this empty simulation okay so we have here the empty simulation let me put a little bit more space so we can have a better view great so the actor simulation has been already installed inside the ROS element studio so you don't have to download it so we only have to go and launch it in case that you want to download it and use it as always as i mentioned before come here to the public simulations and download it, okay? So what is the command for launching a, an actor uh, quadrator? It's a ROS launch, of course, it's already provided. And then the package that is called actor quadrator gazebo. And then the launch file that is called spawn, spawn uh, quadrator dot launch. OK, so if we launch this, we'll get a quadrature around here at some point in time. There it is. So here we have here we have the quadrature. OK, so far so good. Then we can see that if I open another shell, so I can see here 
in this shell the topics associated to that robot topics list so we have sonar 8 supply tf quadro etc etc common motors common bell this is the topic we are going to use to provide some speed to the robot to the quadrotor and move it around okay so what's the problem now that it, why don't we just spawn a second robot here doing the same command okay we cannot do that because if we do this then the second uh, quadrotor that will spawn here will have access to the same uh, topics here so there will be no differentiation between the topics of one robot and the other that's not what we want of course we want to control each quadrotor independently so for that we have to do a small trick made uh, so that allow us to do this ROS by using namespaces and in order to use namespaces the simulation the spawning command has to be prepared for do this that's why we couldn't use the uh, the parrot drone simulation and we have to use this actor quadrator the actor quadrator is very well prepared for this so it's very well created so we can do this so let's go and do it then uh, for that uh, we are going to create a launch file that launches two that spawns two actor quadrators so let's go for this in order to create this launch file we are going to create a new package and since it is a package in the simulations let's go to the simulations workspace as you can see here we have this simulations workspace notebook workspace Catkin workspace ai workspace so it depends on what you want to work on and now we are going to work on the simulation so we have to go to the simulation workspace source and then here let's create our package that let's call uh, two drones that depends on Rospy just in case actually we are just going to add a launch file no no code but anyway so two drones and then here let's create a directory launch and inside the launch let's create a small file called uh, for example uh, start dot launch great okay so now we have to populate this launch file but you know what i'm not going to use the the shell to do this so i'm going to use the ide integrated here so it's easier and everything we can see everything better so here we have the ide so uh, here to drones launch star dot launch here we have okay let me select that this file is an xml file it will be easier and let me increase the the size of the font so what do we have to do okay so what we have to do here is to include this file for launching the one that we have launched here so we are going to create a launch file that launches this file but we'll repeat this launch file twice and each one of them will be included into a different namespace so let's see how to do that okay the first thing is to Put the tag launch and then here let's uh, include this file okay then, then let's say include um, uh, then we have to include the file i have already copied here so let me just copy and paste okay so copy it's very simple it's just to go faster okay find the extra quadrator gazebo that is the as you can see is the name of the package and then include the spawn quadrator that is the launch file that we use to launch this robot great so these include uh, allow us to include some extra parameters okay and we are going to need that so let me close the include here so let's add some parameters that we need to specify for each one of the drones okay so the first one it's an argument that it's called the name so we have to provide a name to this uh, a drone so let's call it drone one okay so this is the first parameter that we have to include then the second is the tf prefix so this is going to be attached to any publication on the tf so it is associated to the drone number one and final parameter is the location at which we are going to spawn the robot 
as you can see, th those parameters are optional. We didn't have to specify it here, so they get a, a value by default. But uh, in this case, we have to specify because otherwise they will be uh, both uh, drones will use the same default parameters and there will be a collision. So we have here the name, the TF prefix, and then the location just in Y. We have specified just in Y. You can specify X, Y, and Z just in Y. Okay, so, so far so good. So this is, and then by doing this, uh, it's not done everything. So we have to group everything inside a namespace. So all the topics, by grouping, all the topics will have a prefix associated to the name of the robot. And how do we do this? By using the tag group here, group, and then the parameter namespace. Uh, let's say drone one. Okay, so, and then we close this tag here and we move this inside. Okay, so we have this for drone number one. That is all. And then the next thing that we need to do is just to duplicate this for another drone. And if you wanted to launch more, then you just replicate for as many as you want. So let's change the namespace to drone number two, the name of the robot to name number two, and the TF prefix to name number two. And then also let's change the Y so they don't appear, both of them, at the same location. Minus one, two, plus one. Okay, so that's it. So far, so good. Then let's do one thing. Let's close this launch of the drone. Let's delete the model here. And now let's launch our launch file. So I, you have saved this. Uh, then I have done Control S to save. So now let's launch it. It's ROS launch. Our package is called two drones. And then the launch file that is start.launch. So then this is going to start and it's going to launch this those two drones and let's see here they are great and you can repeat the same process as many drones as you want okay so here they are so here we have the two drones and now let's see what happens with the topics cross topic list so as you can see all the topics now they are prefixed by the name of the drone drone one drone two that is good because then we can control the velocity of each one of them independently so if i for example let me um let me just uh, send for example to the drone one a command a velocity command a twist command so those command velocity they uh, receive messages of type twist so let me copy this command here. It's ROS topic pop with a rate of 10 into the drone one common bell and then a message twist with the Z of one. It means go up. So if we send this, then the drone number one should go up. And there it is. There it goes. Great. Now we can repeat the same process with the drone, num the drone number two. If we come here and we just change the topic, the prefix of the topic to drone number two. And then we send it and there it goes. And of course you can create different control programs of any type for each one of the drones and, and create any complex uh, commands that you can think of. So basically that's it. So I hope that that was clear, that how to do this very, very easily. Another matter is how to create those spawn.launch files and the models of the robot so that they can accommodate the grouping of the different robots. That's a little bit more complex and maybe we'll deal with this in future videos. In case that you want us to do this, please indicate that into the comments of the video and send us your questions and uh, maybe your um, issues that you have while replicating this experiment. Okay, so thank you very much. If you like the video, please uh, subscribe to the channel and press the bell and give us a thumbs up in the video so we can create more videos like this. Remember that we are creating a new video 
every day. So we are publishing a new video with useful things like this every day. So thank you for your support and see you on the next video.